This is Extreme Cheapskates Christmas. My Christmas decorations really haven't cost me anything. I don't remember the last time that I bought any particular ornament. I save everything and I collect free things. Really, where's the top of his head? It's in there somewhere, and if not, I put a hat on it. Growing up, we would go shopping for them at yard sales or at thrift stores or the dumpster. Half of them are broken, and so you have to make them look good. We'll fix it, and we'll use it somewhere. I have saved my family thousands of dollars throughout the years, but I have been just as festive as everyone else. What we do is we take our used cotton balls and we save them and we stick them in bags and I collect them throughout the year and then that's what I use as my snow. So my mom gives us these cotton balls and we use them to take off our makeup and to take off our nail polish, whatever. <laughs> she makes us save them. We put them in bags and then she uses them as snow. It doesn't even look like snow. It's I just thought brown. they were dusty. I thought it was dust. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Shelly's going to host this Christmas dinner and it is not going to end well. <gasps> Do it! <gasps> Look at that! When I found out that Shelly was going to be in charge of the Christmas dinner, I wasn't very excited about that. I wasn't very fond of the idea that it was bring your own food for the wedding. But in this case, I almost prefer that our guests bring their own food. I can't ask people to bring food this time, but I can ask them to bring something else to keep the cost down. Holy moly. Bring a chair and what else? A glass and your silverware. Next thing she's going to say, bring your own roll of toilet paper. <laughs> If Jesus can feed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish, I can find a way to make a turkey to feed 48 people. Oh, this is perfect. I don't have my glasses on. What does that say? A dollar. A dollar? Are you serious? OK, let me tell you what I want to do. I am going to make a turkey out of chicken. We'll sew what? together some pieces. Sew them together? I'm going to sew them together and make a big turkey. No. A turkey. No. We'll make a turkey. No, no these are expired. Like, this, this is This is a dollar forty-nine. No, you don't understand. Like, if people eat this and they get sick, like, they can't get really sick. They're not going to get sick. This is frozen stuff. No. You don't understand. Feeding this many people, feeding 40 people, could cost a couple hundred dollars at least. This will be under $40. I was getting such an awesome deal on the meat from the salvage grocery store. How can you pass that up? We, we collect our branches by going to vendors that are selling Christmas trees, okay. and when they cut the branches off to make it smaller or shape it, we collect those off the ground for free. OK, Britt, where are you? Over here. Come on over here. OK, here you go. There's Thanks. that one. And then look, these are good for the top of the tree. They're very okay. small. I come from Oregon, that's the capital of Christmas trees. And so I want my house to smell like Christmas. I want it to look like a real pine tree. But I just don't want to spend $250 for a Christmas tree. Can we, can we have these branches for our Christmas tree? And can I move this box over so that we can collect some of the sawdust? We also collect the sawdust, and we do this so that we can have fresh potpourri, and the house smells like a Christmas tree farm. These branches need to go up, because the tree goes up. You don't want it to look funny, right? Then we put them on. It's a Christmas tree. Uh... Oh, this looks cute. And once you get it decorated, it's perfect. What is that? That is. This is going to be your turkey. It'll be wonderful. Doesn't that look good? It's making my what? eyes water, Mom. And and you're going to mold it into and a turkey. And hamburger. Uh-huh. I'm going to make this a big mound so it looks like a turkey. And then I'm going to take some chicken, because that's Ashley's favorite. And I'm going to pound it, and we're going to cover it so it looks like a turkey, which will be really yummy. If you add up the cost of all those pieces that I got at the salvage grocery store, it comes out way less than buying a huge turkey that will feed 48 people. I am so excited for this Christmas dinner. I'm, pe no, people are going to get sick. They're going to be asking for the recipe. I have never been to a party where I've had to bring my own stuff. No. <laughs> I'm always excited for dinner. <laughs> I'm not too excited about having to carry all this stuff, though. Oh. Mm. 
my gosh. Mmm, that looks good. That looks horrible. I, Mom, I can't do this. Like, I really cannot take this out. Get that side. Mom, Mom. Ready? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not ready. Stop, I don't know how to do it. Push it back. No, Stop. please. <laughs> Shelly's Christmas decorations. I think she did it last minute. And the tree, oh my gosh. I've never seen anything quite like it. Here comes the turkey. Oh, yeah. Oh. I will hand it to Shelly. She did have plenty of food for everyone. Probably because we didn't go back for seconds. <laughs> Want that piece? <laughs> the Christmas dinner wasn't quite what I expected, but it was Shelly style. And it, it turned out OK. I think everyone was pretty happy. I think a lot of things went really well for this dinner. Like, for example, the, the turkey. Jim loved it. He thought it was the best thing he'd ever eaten. Ate it. He thought it was pretty good, but I think he was a little drunk. Cheers to the chef. Oh, <laughs> if I host Christmas again next year, I'll be doing it for the same budget or less. Some families celebrate Christmas the night before, the day of, or honestly, whenever their schedules permit them to. We like to celebrate our annual Christmas party three days after Christmas. Come on, guys. The day after Christmas is the day where people throw out their trees, decorations, and wrapping paper. And you don't have to pay much or anything for it. All right, now this is my box of snow. In this house, we like to use plates until they cannot be used anymore. Do you know how to make snowflakes? Done it once before. It hasn't been since kindergarten. See, you're a natural. I don't know what you're so worried about. These make excellent snowflakes. Is it just me, or are there sauce stains on these? Well, yeah, they're used plates. What do you expect? I don't understand why we don't buy new decorations. We can easily afford it. Every snowflake is unique. And these are very unique. Thanks, baby. I love pigs in a blanket. I snagged these at John's birthday party, popped them in the freezer. Everyone likes them, and they're really a good warm hors d'oeuvre. Now, what's this? It's a good thing Shannon's popular and gets invited to a lot of parties, or else she wouldn't have a big spread for our party. <gasps> you want some of that? You want some pepperoni? Some pug pepperoni? Hey there, neighbor. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how was your Christmas? It was, it was very fun. Good, it was good. very family oriented, it was good. Nice. Well, I just have a question for you. Sure. That wreath, mm -hmm. do you need it? Some people spend $100 to $150 on a wreath and tree that you only use for three weeks, and then you throw it away. Because, like, you're coming to my holiday party, right? Could I just borrow it for a few hours? Shannon, from time to time, will ask me for all sorts of things, from decorations to tables of salt and pepper. How about I bring it to the party? Well, as long as you're the first one to arrive at the party so everyone can enjoy it, that would be awesome. OK. We really like your window display. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Um, are you guys going to be using it? I don't know. I'm not the one that makes that decision. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing when Shannon goes to the local stores in Chicago asking about any decorations they're willing to get rid of for free. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. All right, can we take a sample? Yeah. All right, thank you. In the nine years that I've had the store, no one has ever asked me for damaged merchandise or throwaway items. Got lots of stuff. Broken tree topper. Awesome. Uh, look at it. It's going to be so pretty. I dig it. OK. Uh, got a snowman. You're going to have to put some batteries in, because they're not, they don't work anymore. And then I've got. I've got a bunch of garland that was outside that is, doesn't light anymore, but if you want the garland, I've got a whole box of it here. That's awesome. Let's see. To be honest with you, this is about $200 worth of stuff. Um, you can have it for 30 Could we maybe work it down to, I don't know, like 15 or 20 yeah. maybe? I got everything I wanted. We got garland. We have a shooting star. Our party is going to be 
so memorable. Everyone's gonna love it and they don't even need to know we paid 20 bucks. All right. Can you state your full name, including middle initial, please? Shannon and Alan. Oh, Have you ever right. donated blood before? <laughs> never donated blood. Never before. donated blood before? All right, you're not nervous or anything, are you? You're okay, babe. It's just the anticipation that really gets me nervous. Of the cookies or of the blood donation? Of oh, the blood donation. All right, let's get on. Yeah, and then hold it. With the added benefit of two people donating blood, that means twice as many cookies. Breathe and relax. I'm good. I got this. You, you do. Cookies. All right. Easy peasy, right? Giving blood is like giving the gift of life. Today we got to save lives and get cookies and brownies, so it's even better. Check out this baby. This is a beast. Uh, not really. It's kind of like a clipping. I don't know. What do you think? A little small. It's really small. That's like a hedge. That ain't a tree. Oh, do you see that? Uh, what do you see? Oh, I how see can trash. you not see it? It's like right there, dude. Seriously. Uh, oh god, there's hair in there. No thanks. Good. Moving on. We got this awesome tie. Look at that. It's a good tie. Picked this up in an expo. What do you think? This would make a great gift. It'd make a gift. I don't know about a great gift. And then we'll wrap this one up. And of course, this one totally needs to get wrapped too. We good? Everything has come together beautifully. We got food, we've got prezzies, we've got great atmosphere. Everything looks great. I think our coworkers are gonna be really impressed. Hey, hey guys, happy holidays. So good to see you, thank you. Hi, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming to the party. You can go thank on you. in, I'll take this in. I think having your Christmas party after Christmas is interesting because it's kind of, kind of tweensy. It's post Christmas, but before New Year's. But hey, they left the Christmas decorations up. It's still December. It's okay. You have a koozie in your tree, nice. Shannon. <laughs> nice. Oh, perfect fit. What? Oh, my goodness. I like it. Good there you go. One. It's really good. You guys are digging the meat. You enjoying it? Yeah, once you bite through it, it's not that bad. Yeah. The food at the party was actually pretty good. The one thing that was kind of weird was the uh, the meat. It was a little chewy. It was definitely a little had a little bite to it. You, you had to kind of work at it a little bit. Ho ho ho! Who's ready for presents? Wow. <laughs> This looks like something I get at convention with the branding on here. Okay, let me see what we got. It's like a, uh, a piggy bank. <laughs> Money rocks at my credit union. Somebody wrapped that well. Ooh, a nice water um, bottle. Yeah. Oh man, Jordan's Jordan's bar mitzvah, 2009. <laughs> it is very interesting to get a bar mitzvah gift at a Christmas party, but you know what? It's something nice. Better to have a gift than no gift at all. I think. <laughs> Jordan would be proud. Jordan would be proud. <laughs> Shannon knows how to be cheap. It's definitely a cheap Christmas party, but it works. It works well, I think. <laughs> Our Christmas party went off without a hitch. After everything we went through, the tree hunting, the alley surfing, and her wild ways of collecting all the food, I'm really impressed everything turned out. Here's the holidays. Christmas is about being together, having a good time, and making memories, and I think we definitely accomplished that with this party. I will never change my cheapskate ways. Nope. Not happening. What? Let me get my decorations out here. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. It can't be on this tree. This tree is made with class. It's our family tradition that everyone gets together as a family and decorate the Christmas tree. I've spent good time on these decorations. Yeah. What I care the most about decorating the tree every year 
is my sister Sarah bringing out her garbage, her trash. That's not an ornament, Sarah. It not is an ornament. Actually, not it's a personal ornament. Okay. Isn't no, this sorry. a family tree? And I'm family. I don't yeah. get it. Not this year, sister girl. You got your own tree. You're going to decorate this. Come on. This year, we got Sarah a Christmas bush to put her own decorations on. Those are, uh, aren't those the coats from the kitchen? They have their expensive ornaments, but I just rather not have to spend so much on it. And I'm a baker, so you know I love to bake. And I like to bring my gingerbread man and my cookie cutters. Sarah will take the same cookie cutters that she used to cut her cookies with and use them as a decoration on the tree. Who does that? Who does that? Save some space for my stock. Yeah. Excuse me? I promise you, you go to new levels every single year. Oh, very festive. Throughout the year, I take things from my family, and they think that it's missing. Then on Christmas, I give it back to them as a gift. I got these nice shades that I got from Nisha throughout the year. She's going to be so happy to get them back. Shawnee's purse. She loved this purse, so I'm sure she's going to be so excited to see it appear back. Voila! This is a joke. I'm at a dump. The spirit of Christmas is giving, and you don't need new presents to feel that. See, the thing is, you just don't come here and get anything. You have to find some quality items. Come on, girl. Oh, girl, alarm clock. It's amazing to me how people can throw good items out that are still usable. We're going to take this. You want to hold it? Here you hold it. Listen. There's a reason the stuff is here. No one wants it. It's trash. Brand new. What is that? Uh, it might I don't be know. A it looks like. Table. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Like a turntable for a DJ. I don't know. Let's. It's a foot. A please. foot, please. <laughs> okay. You just had me touch it with somebody nasty feet. I'm sure touching. it's clean. Grandma would love this. Hand sanitizer. I, I need hand sanitizer. Large nativity scenes can cost over $200, and Sarah is hoping to create hers without spending a dime. Joseph. Great. Being responsible for the nativity scene this year is a big deal to me. Sarah, what do we have here? OK, so mm. I got. Mary and Joseph found them around the house. Mm -hmm. um, I have my barn animals. Mm. I have my music trophies, mm. which are dear to me as my three wise men. You are, I got, you're going to have to explain that to everybody because nobody's going to know what that represents. The three wise men brought Jesus gold and, and, and treasures, and mm. that's what these trophies represent. Mm. It's not what I expected but it's not as bad as I thought. Wrapping paper may cost about $50 to $100 for others, but it costs nothing for me. I'm gonna tell you my secret on saving on my wrapping paper. You see this garbage bag? Every year, I load up a garbage bag with all the wrapping paper that we use, and I save it for the next year. I spend nothing on my wrapping paper. With Sarah's reused gifts and wrapping paper, she spent only $20 on Christmas this year. All right, it's time for my gifts. Uh, I have some great gifts that I've lined up to give back to my family this year. Nisha. You always make these announcements. Shawnee. Great, let me see what my sister got me this yeah. year. Let's see. If the box is a little dirty. Sarah, you cannot be serious. 
I knew you were gonna love them. You were looking for them, right? I sure was, all year long. The gift that Sarah gave me, when I opened it and realized that it was the glasses that I couldn't find from a year ago, I was a little shocked and a slight bit disappointed. And I brought those glasses. <laughs> yes, you bought those glasses. But to look on the bright side, who wouldn't want to find something that you lost over a year ago that you really, really treasure? Merry Christmas. Oh, OK, uh, yeah. Let's try this. What is this? A long Are you sick? <laughs> I know you won't oversleep with that one. Merry Christmas. When I first opened Sarah's gift, I thought, like, this is going to be good. You know what I mean? But when I uh, opened the box, yeah, that's Sarah again. I've been looking for this purse for three months. And now you found it. Now for Grandma. Wow! That is huge! Yeah. Uh, what in the world is that? It's the ultimate foot massager. Rest your feet on here, plug it up, and get a good old foot massage. How many feet been on that? Don't worry, it's clean. This Christmas convinced me that Sarah probably she would never, never change. change. This is it. Oh! oh.